Hey guys, it's Bomb Primus here, and today I continue on with Dueling Network or Yu Gi Oh or whatever you want to call it. You know, um, it feels like I'm playing a different game, but it's the same thing. It's Yu Gi Oh. Um, today I'm going to be playing with my Area 51 deck. The reason being is I've been swamped with work and a whole bunch of other stuff. I've been making other decks and everything like that. It's just uh, taking me some time to get all the information, kind of look through them, read through them, and all that. Uh, I'm really busy. All right, you know, I got multiple responsibilities and everything like that. You know, from from work, from personal stuff to family stuff, so it's quite hectic. Um, I finally got a better internet, so uh, the matches shouldn't be laggy anymore. I do apologize for in the past if it was. Um, so since I'm using Area 51, obviously there's restricted cards I can use, so I have to be on the unlimited, unrated side. All right, so we're gonna see if we can find somebody here. Let's see here. Um, I really don't know what Goat plus CRV is. Uh, I know people have been saying. Let me see here. Forno loved this deck. Oh, he left. I was going to make him 4-1. and one. <laughs> No, it's not going to happen with me. Um, people have commented in some of my videos saying that, like, oh, you should just, you're a disgrace as a duelist. You should, you know, throw away your, your dual deck and everything. Or give it to someone else. You suck. It's like, okay. I don't play this game for real. Um, I just play it for fun because that's why I'm playing it. Uh, there's two reasons why I play this game. Uh, first off, it's fun. Second off, you guys want it, so I basically cater to what my viewers want. And basically, it's one of my one of my more popular videos. So I figured, why not? Well, you know, why not do a video for everyone so they can enjoy goat format only? What is goat format? I don't know. Something probably new. Can someone tell me what goat format is? I really don't know about that. I have to do some research, but I've been swamped with a whole bunch of other stuff. Like I said, you know. Um, you know, YouTube is not a full-time gig for me or anything like that. It's just more of something I just do on the side, uh, you know, to entertain you guys and for myself as well. You know, I entertain myself doing these videos. So what I'm going to do is actually, guys, I'm going to fast forward this and, you know, until we actually find a duel uh, I can get into. Uh, other than that, I'll see you guys around. All right, just stay tuned. I'll be right back. All right, just stay tuned. Don't leave. Okay, guys, I'm back. We're going against this guy here. I forgot his name. I don't know. I haven't watched the shows really after... Uh, oh, I go first. Uh, after the uh, first season where Keen, uh, Bandit Keith was in with uh, Yuki and all that stuff. I can't even... Wow, that was laggy for no damn reason. Um, so, basically, I'm using this deck, which I don't know how to use. Can okay, go standby phase. Stand by me. Okay, now select one face up alien monster. Nope. And we're gonna set when this card is on the field, monster cannot be set or flip face down. If a monster card would be set, it must be normal summon and face up defense position. I'm gonna set that bad boy with this one. This card is normal summon. You can special summon one level four lower monster from your graveyard. Nothing. When this normal summon, when you normal summon alien monster, you can special summon this card from your hand. No. And then place one a counter on all monsters. I'm just putting like normal summon this guy. Okay, place one Akon on all monster special summon to your opponent's side of the field. And then it says here, when you normal summon an alien monster, you can special summon this card from your hand. When you do, place two A counters on the face up on face up monsters your opponent controls. And then special summon attack because of his effect. He's an alien kid. Okay, if a monster with an alien A counter battles with an alien monster, it loses 300. Okay. So place one alien counter monster special summon to your opponent's side of the field. Place one alien counter on your on all monsters. Uh, okay, and then I end my turn. Um, because the special effect of this card allows me to do that, when you normal summon an alien monster, you can special summon this card from your hand. When you do, place two A counters on face up monsters your opponent controls, but they got nothing, so there's no point. And then this guy, if a monster with an A counter battles with an alien monster, it loses 300 attack for each A counter. Or alien counter on it. What the hell was that noise? Oh, just the neighbors. They're, they're basically doing construction. Alright, so I really don't know how to use this deck very well. <laughs> um, so, yeah. So I'm going to wait for this guy, but um, it seems like he doesn't know what he's doing either. <laughs> it's probably like in my shoes. Uh, this is another thing I want to... What the... Just discard one card and destroy all face of monster your opponent controls. No! Oh, that sucks. And what is this thing? If this card is discarded to the graveyard by a card effect, special summon this card from the graveyard to your opponent's side of the field and face up defense position. And this card is special summon the effect of a dark world in defense position, dude. 
its defense. Whoa, 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 dude, this guy has to slow down. What is it? If this card is discarded to the graveyard by a card, fetch special summon this card from the graveyard to your opponent's side of the field and face up the fist position. When this card is special summoned by the effect of a Dark World card, your opponent must discard one card. No. And then, if this card... I, I'm... Uh, what is he, What is he doing? I'm so lost! If this card is discarded to the graveyard by a card effect, if it was discarded from your hand to your graveyard by an opponent's card effect, you can target one monster in your opponent's graveyard, add one Dark Yurk from your deck to your hand, and special summon that target and phase up defense position. What? No, if this card is discarded to the graveyard by a card effect? What? What is this guy? This guy is not even- No! Whoa, 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 whoa. No, 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 no. If this card is got okay, no, wait, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Use your ganky, he destroys it, okay? He discarded that card, so this thing comes back to my field in defense position. When this card special summon the effect of Dark World, which it wasn't. A special effect of a dark world card your opponent must discard one card okay that doesn't happen so I'm supposed to put time for you to face up the fist position okay and then and what is this if this card is discarded to the graveyard by a card effect okay how was that card discarded how was that card discarded and how did I get my Monster back. It, it it's making this just this guy's making a bullshit. When you normal summon an answer to this, no, this, this card this, his effect has nothing to do with it. He's just making things up because he used Raganki. He threw that card away. It comes into my side of the field. Okay. Then he for some reason by a card effect. This card wasn't discarded by a card effect. It was discarded by if it, it was discarded by your your to the graveyard by your opponent's card effect. You target one monster in your opponent's graveyard. Add one dark lurk from the turn and special summon that target if you No. I play Lightning Vortex. Okay. Cerulean effect. Discarded snow. If this card is discarded to the graveyard by a card effect, special summon this card from your opponent's side of the field. In fact, when this card is special summoned by the effect of when this card is special summoned by the effect of a dark wall card, your opponent must discard one card. Oh my god. Alright, okay. Tough. I don't know if he's bullshitting me. I, I feel like that's bullshit. I feel like this like if it was when this card is special summoned by the effect of a dark world card, your opponent must discard one card. Uh, okay. Um next turn, so. Okay, what is this thing? You can special summon this card, blah blah blah. Graveyard by a card effect. Target one card, your opponent controls, destroy that card. And then, if this card was discarded from your hand to your graveyard by an opponent's card effect, look at uh, one run in front. You know what? I really don't care. Um, I'm just gonna activate it. Screw it. You know, it's a grave. Destroy all the monsters, man. Destroy. Oh, sorry, I hit the microphone there for a second. Just freak the monsters. Just destroy them. But he has a special effect. If this card is discarded by the card effect by by a card effect, target one card your opponent controls. Destroy that target, and then if this card was discarded from your hand to your graveyard by the opponent's card, if I look at one of random in your opponent's hand, and then it was, if it was a monster, you can special summon it to your side of the field. Okay. So, um, okay, I guess he's not gonna do anything about that. So that's one face of monster control, and um, when this card special one is going you can special summon one of them from your graveyard. Destroy it during the end phase. Oh, wait a minute. This guy's a tuner. Hold on. I have one alien reptile, four levels, three levels. So, let me see here. Please play faster. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't do that. One tuner or one more no tuner monster. Okay. Normal summon. Effect. You can spend one alien. Special attack. So one tuner, let me see here, one tuner or one tuner, not monster once per turn. 
one tuner or one or more non-tuner monsters. So one tuner, one tuner, non-light monsters. Special summon. Do I overlay? No. Just grave. One tuner, non tuner. Okay. Uh, attack declaration, discard battles, another master you can. And then I go battle phase. Because it's one tuner and one non tuner light monster. Can't. Please play for can't. What? What, what do you mean I can't? Uh, and then attack declaration, discard battles, another monster you can have. Discard lose 500 attack and defense permanently, and the monster discard is battling lose. Okay. You only had five stars. Wait a minute, what? Oh, my bad. So, yeah, so what I mean, I don't know. Oh, sorry. Uh, two extra. Shit. God damn it. I suck at this. <laughs> uh, to grave view. Where's that damn monster? Oh, right, here we go. Oh, uh, no. One tuner or non tuner. There we go. Here we go. Here we go. So it's five. Yeah, sorry about that. Nine eight. To grave. To grave. This is not overlay, so. At the start of damage, if this card battles a non duck monster, destroy that monster. Okay. Then battle phase. And then attack directly. Okay. I don't know about the tuner rules or overlay rules, so I don't know if you can attack. Okay. There we go. There we go. Oh, I did it. I did, I did my first tune. Well, not my first tuning monster, but first tuning. Uh, that was, I think, successful. Oh, wait, the meteor one that I did with the what the hell is this? Okay, target one set card on the field, destroy that target, and discard one card. No, I know, I can, I can read. I'm reading the instructions here. What was this thing doing? I, do, I don't know what's going on. This is the reason why I need automatic shit because I don't know what's going on. <laughs> oh my god. I really don't know what the hell's going on with this game. I'm not saying that, oh, you know, it's hard. No, it's just that I there's so many card effects. There's so much info on these cards that it, for a person like me, I I'm really do need the help. Um, I'm not retarded. When this card is destroyed by a battle and set to the graveyard, you can special summon one line monster from 15 and line text. Oh, okay, awesome. So it's bullshit. Alright, then end my turn. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. I can't really do anything anyway, so. And it's like one face on the only monster you destroy. Yeah, okay. What? When this card is destroyed by the battle and sent to the graveyard, add one level 4 dark monster, you would. From your deck. Effect? Play faster. Well, I need to read. I can't. I, it's, just, it's just so much information. It's just like, uh, I don't know how these kids do it when they. Uh, I say view my deck. I said view my deck, and oh, okay, there we go. So I get what? What was it again? It was um, you can special summon one light monster in the field times from your deck and face up attack to position. Um, so one light. Oh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? I know I have one. Oh, I don't have one. Oh, fuck. I can't find it. Where is he? No. I'm just bullshitting. I don't know what I'm looking for. Um, this special some of this stupid thing. And then special when this card is normal summon, you can special. Oh, it's when he's normal summon. So I, I can't do anything about that. So like one face up elements you could just try and distribute new eight counters equal to its level among your opponent's face up monsters. Wow, okay, that's gonna be useless flip. Okay, then I set this card down and then I set this card oh, fuck. Flip. Alright, so and then to kind of trick him, I had my turn. To make him think I have something, but I don't. I really don't. Um and this is the reason this to be honest guys, this is the real reason why I really want automatic that way I don't, you know, have people cheating because I've, I've been getting a lot of comments. Oh, that person cheated. That person's using the card wrong. That person's doing this and that. 
If this card is card to the graveyard by card effect, draw one card plus another card. Okay, this doesn't even matter. So he's go he goes to the grave. Flip. When it's destroyed by battle, instead of the graveyard, draw one card. And then I draw one card. And then I add a token to his little thing. I put a token. And I lose anyway. Yay! Offer draw. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna be offer offer a draw, man. He's gonna be like, no, no, that's not bull. That's bullshit. Watch, he's gonna complain. Five, four, three, two, one. And mid def All right, he's not gonna go with my little game here. Well, I'm out of here. Okay, I'm not gonna play that anymore. Let's see here. Okay, okay, okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna end the video here, guys. All right. Hope you enjoy that horrendous gameplay. All right. Um, I really do have to make better decks. This is kind of for shits and giggles. I'm just doing for the time being. But if you guys have any suggestions of any cards you want me to use, any decks you want to use, please leave a comment in the comment section below. Uh, do take note. I might, due to the fact that this game requires a lot of concentration, a lot of reading, and a lot of know-how of what card does what. And to be honest, um, I really don't have time to study Yu-Gi-Oh. Um, it's not one of my main professions or anything like that or main duties, responsibilities I have in life. Um, I'm a busy guy. So uh, what I'm going to try to do is probably play that game, which you call it Dev Pro. Yu-Gi-Oh! Dev Pro. It's more automatic, I believe. And it's uh, graphically, it looks better. Uh, visually, it looks better. Um, I'm going to try that one out, see how it is. I really haven't really tried it out only on the tablet, like I said. Um, but I'm going to see if I could do that one, and uh, hopefully it wouldn't have such uh, horrendous endings because people won't cheat as much and everything like that. And I won't have much trouble either because everything will be practically automatic. All right, so I'll see you guys around. All right, uh, bye. Hey guys, it's Bomb Primus here. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you want to see more Yu-Gi-Oh! videos, just press the link in the top left corner right there. Otherwise, just press like and leave a comment in the comment section below. Also, don't forget to visit my other channel, To Chunk of Pijax, if you want to see my Mass Effect videos. Also, to be updated on my channels, just visit my Twitter or my Facebook page. This is Palm Primus, keep it crunchy, and peace out.